Dear listeners, a friendly heads up. Our enthusiasm tends to break the sound barrier on occasion. While we aim for fun, we understand it might not be everyone's cup of tea. If our spirited approach rubs you the wrong way, please accept our sincere apologies in advance. We hope you'll still join us as we get lost in our conversations. everyone's recording so we are live let's begin so you want to talk about christmas right now or the, let's do the next topic first whatever that dreams and aspirations is. what is better than three people who don't celebrate christmas talking about christmas. talking about christmas <laughs> oh, oh, oh i look i look like i look like i celebrate christmas i look like that i look like I'm <laughs> right? you said you always time. wanted to celebrate christmas right Yeah, I am. Joyous occasion, you know, where everyone actually there's like a lot of lights everywhere. There's a lot of uh, like you know happiness, like red color Santa. People going in groups near my house, singing uh, carols and all that. You know, I like I think from a very small age, maybe because I was uh, you know uh, I was in uh, Catholic school. Like the month of December has been a very you know joyous. It's it's like in me. It's just the month of December. You know me and uh, if I'm not wrong, I think I am. Me and Bhai were talking about this. It's like December is like the uh, weekend of the year. You know, <laughs> it's like the month like. Pops just left between the story. Really? Yeah. The thing is, I can't. I don't. I can't see you guys there, so I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Pops just <laughs> left the meeting in the middle and then just walked off. <laughs> just was like he said his Christmas. He like he said the monologue that he had memorized. You know. Yeah. <laughs> just, the, he said all like, the points. He said yeah. Christmas, December, what December is it? Like Christmas. Is, December is like the Sunday of the year or something. Sunday of the year. I went to Catholic <laughs> school. I like Catholic. I'm like, bro. I mean, like you, you can do. And then like I'm out. Right? That's all I have. <laughs> that's all I have to say. And I'm out of here. <laughs> that's it for Christmas, man. That that's what happens when like, you know, three people who don't celebrate Christmas are talking about Christmas. Talking right? about it's Christmas. Just, like, <laughs> we need like, we like need Catholic. that someone to, to to be there to help us out. Like, what is Christmas and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm, We needed the guy who was going to be born. Who was just born just before Jesus, man. Our very <laughs> oh, own. <laughs> but I know a guy who was born on like twenty fifth December. Mm-hmm. You know, I forgot that his birthday was recently. I called him yesterday and I wished him Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you're you're the new era of Jesus. Jesus has that thing, no, that he's coming back or something. Yeah, yeah, the second coming. I'm back. The second coming, yeah. So yeah, is that also no. going to happen on 25th or is that going to happen like some other day? I mean, I don't know. Go <laughs> 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 don't ask me, man. It's all like he told me, you know, when he's coming. <laughs> What is this talking about? That No, uh, you you you, <laughs> you were telling a story and then you left in the middle. So we we were like <laughs> filling the blanks. <laughs> like what could have happened with Bob? What might have happened? Why did he start the story? That was our goal. <laughs> oh, no, you were talking about some birthday and all that. Yeah, so you know Rosh, you know Rosh, and there's this guy yeah, from our yeah. class called Rosh, okay? So he 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 also doesn't celebrate Christmas, but then for some reason he was born on the same day as Jesus. So, yeah. is it a coincidence? I think not. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah. So what was your story about? Like, continue. You you were saying December is the Sunday of the year or something. No, no, it's it's just you know, like from a very small age, right? When I was in first grade, like from first to tenth grade, right? I have been brought up in a Catholic school. Okay, so it's like you. I mean, you guys must agree, right? Like the second half of the year is the joyous part. Like you know, it's like the festival. It's like very happening. You know, the first part is like ah man, work, work, work. The second part is like there's Diwali, then there is uh, uh, Christmas, Dasara, 
and That's all that. True. So, like, like, why, yeah. why is the second half of the year so festive? Like, I don't get that. Yeah, it's probably because of uh, some series of events that happened in the past. It's crazy that you know the the calendars were also not same, but still somehow when you put them all into the same calendar, it all comes towards the end of the year. Mm. I don't know. It's like. Some set of events that has happened, and coincidentally, it was in the second part of the year. Maybe, Maybe it's got that. something to do with winter or something. I don't know. Like the cold. Know. Probably, probably. But it makes sense in uh, our case, you know. Like it makes sense uh, in our case where we are celebrating in winter because we are essentially a hot country. I don't know why the Europeans before the invention of heater. <laughs> Where it was just snowing <laughs> all the time. Like, why are you celebrating during winter? What do you have? It's like life-threatening cold, you know. Not even like like little bit cold. Like it's 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 not like okay, I'm gonna have a cold and I'm gonna have to drink kasai or something. It's not that cold. <laughs> it is like hypothermia. Oh my god, they're gonna cut off my arm. Cold. Like, so, uh, I want to ask you. Do you celebrate anything other than Christmas during the second half of the year in these? Countries? Yeah, that's that's the other sad part of being in the Western countries, dude. They don't get as many holidays as us. Like they have, they have like what four, five holidays in the entire year. That's all. We have like five holidays yeah. back to back. <laughs> that's like. I spend five holidays as <laughs> big ones. It's not like you know. Look at Akash getting jealous. Do you get holidays for our festivals? No, we don't. We don't. But then we get like a really big one for you. <laughs> Ah, uh, how how big is it? It used to be like a week or so, you know. Oh, and like Ramadans are half days. And do you guys get free food too, like in Eid and stuff? Like how we how they give out here, like free food outside mosques? Is it? I mean, <laughs> if we actually there is there is, there are all these camps and whatnot, you know, where mm. they have these huge huge little things. You know, little, have you seen those videos where there's this huge Uh, what do you say? Container of rice, not container. Sorry, a vessel of rice. It's like it's like a biryani sort of a thing, you know. And everyone comes and has. So it's like that. A lot of the laborers they usually come because you know they get to have like good food at least you know <laughs> once in that. So wait, but do people celebrate Christmas there? Like do they they do they celebrate yeah. Christmas there? Yeah, yeah, it's big. It's I mean, like, I mean, people celebrate in their own houses, but like, is it as festive as like how it is? It is actually quite festive. Yeah, like all the malls everywhere. Yeah, it's just so it's fully decorated. There is like there are these huge Christmas trees almost everywhere. All the big malls have Christmas trees. I think even in like Dubai Global Vision, all they have like a huge tree, you know, Christmas tree. So. It, it is actually very huge, and especially at this time of the year, so you know, it is just everywhere. I'm pretty sure there are like a lot of Christmas offers and yeah, Christmas, the Christmas New Year offers, you know, everywhere. Just like yeah, you know, like a bunch of stores making like a shit ton of money. All the stores making a shit ton. Of money. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. You know, like we were talking the other day, right? Like how Christmas has become very commercialized. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> like how everywhere, like you go, there is like, like people. Many of them wouldn't even know why we are celebrating Christmas. Maybe because because Santa's birthday, they might say yeah. Santa's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's like. Also, some kind of you know, uh, some kind of sale going on. Like it shows, like how commercialized Christmas has become. Right? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's the merch also, right? Like there's so much merchandising going on. Like after mm-hmm. Christmas comes, it's it's more than the festive feeling of Christmas, but like people are more interested in like the merchandise that comes with Christmas. Like especially, I keep getting these ads of these sweaters on Instagram, like. The mm-hmm. the daddy daddy mommy thing. The daddy mommy. What is? Oh, the ugly sweater. The ugly Christmas sweater. 
Yeah, the ugly, ugly sweater, the ugly, quoted, sweater, ugly yeah. Christmas sweaters, yeah. It's like, <laughs> uh, uh, some, some, some weird shit, okay? Like, it's, it's something to do with sex, that much is for sure. It's always like, oh. the, and the, the quote is always like, uh, look what my husband's wife gave me or something like that. Like, it became too much at at one point. Like it, I don't I don't even remember one thing. I want to tell you guys something one snippet of that, but I don't remember it. Uh, if I remember, um, I'll tell you. The, that thing will come. That thing will come here. That thing will come here. That thing will come here. I want to ask you guys a question, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really. What do you think mm-hmm. is the selling point of Christmas? For me, it's the cold. No, like I'm talking in a very business point of view. Okay, mm-hmm. in a business point of view, where in, by selling what do they get the most money? Toys, I feel like if yeah, toys. I think the selling point of Christmas is like the happiness, you know, uh, like you know, uh, to make it more joyous. You think so, you think corporations are concerned about like people's happiness? No, no, not like that. Okay, just imagine. Okay. Uh, now I can make a sales pitch saying, uh, "Have a joyous Christmas with two pairs of socks on your Christmas tree." Why do you need two pairs of socks in a Christmas tree? But people will still buy. Okay, I'm. I'm. It's just me. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you mean like the word joyous? No, I, no. I see people are trying to make money out of. Giving joy to people. I, what is your? I, I didn't. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Like actually, what was like? What are you trying to say? <clears throat> no, like you know, what are they? That's what I initially asked. Yeah, what I didn't get okay. it. It broke off. You know, I didn't get it. I think you you cut for a while. So we'll just repeat that. <clears throat> no, like what? See now. Now everything has a selling point. Like okay, uh, I'll give you an example. Hmm, give me something. Let me let me just think of let me just think of a very good example so that you get. What do we talk about Christmas, bro? We don't even celebrate Christmas. You know what's the crazy thing about? I like Christmas because people around my house are Christians and they give me plum cakes, and those plum cakes are actually quite delicious. That's all. That's all I know about mm. Christmas. And I was okay. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a thing which happens. Like, uh, there is there used to be this like this store or whatever in one of the malls near my house, and every day during Christmas, uh, I think the owner of this store and I think this dude was like a billionaire or what not. And at that point, I didn't know because I was a kid. Yeah, so this dude would always dress up as Santa and like you know give chocolates to kid children and like, and I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, and I thought that was like, like the coolest thing because yeah. he's also like a big fat dude, so he looks like Santa exactly. So when I was a kid, I really like, you know, this was looking forward to meeting Santa. You wait, are you one of those kids who grew up thinking Santa's real? Yeah, as he grew up, he realized that you know Santa was touching him in inappropriate places. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What? Hey, like, did did people do? Did you do you know anyone who grew up thinking Santa's real? Like, that, is that a thing in India? Like, I don't think that's a thing in India. Like, I don't, I don't know. We, see, the thing about like being Indian, yeah, like worldview is very realistic. Even like when you're a kid, like you know, <laughs> magic isn't real. You know, gifts are not coming. You know, you know all that things. Yeah, it's like you know what is up. Like there is, you know. <laughs> This is something that I feel what Western parents do a lot is that they're like, oh my God, the children's imagination. So, you know, they're going to, you know, put gifts in their stockings and whatnot, and they're going to pretend like it's yeah. Santa. And they're like, oh, look Dude, what Santa gave you. And the kids are like, going to be like, oh my God, Santa gave me, Santa gave me. And the parents are like, oh, look at them. You know, Indian household, it's different. It's always like, you know, how much money we paid for this one toy? You know, you better be grateful towards it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like you know, it's like this toy is not free. We worked like eight hours jobs to get you this toy. <laughs> so you better be grateful. There is no Santa that did it. Okay, there is no Santa. You got this 
You got this from me. You better know that. I paid money. I paid money for which I worked so hard. Right, five days a week, eight hours. Right, every every cent is counts. It's like that. <laughs> so that thing, when you when you grow up in an Indian household, that's like that's one thing which I'm sure everyone relates to. But yeah, I see. feel like it's a nice thing, you know, like to live in oblivion, mm-hmm. to not know that you know <laughs> Santa is not real. Like your gifts are coming from a mythical creature who's like traveling around the world giving gifts for every kid, not just you. You are not the only one. And then if you if you're not nice, if you are not nice, you, you go into the naughty list. I've got some bad news. You're on the naughty list. And then you don't get gift like that. You're not nice. Your parents are not going to buy you gift. That's our <laughs> logic. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like in like you don't have to blame the Santa for like you know your actions. You're like oh you are not nice. Oh Santa, like we were cool with you. Like what is this passive aggressive parenting? You know, it's like hey, listen, we are cool. We think what you're doing is fine, okay? It's just the Santa guy, right? But like this, this old man, this old man who lives in the North Pole, right? Like he, 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 he doesn't like your behavior. He. <laughs> I mean, like, oh my God, guys! It's your kid. It's your like your child. Like you can just take ownership and just tell, like, hey, kid, you know you. You messed up, you know. Like breaking the TV isn't the nice thing to do. You're not gonna get a gift. Like, oh my god! <laughs> But do you Is think people not give gifts like that? Like, like just because you did something somewhere along the year, and mm-hmm. then that's the reason you don't get gifts. It depends on how 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 much of a sociopath the parent is. You know? <laughs> if it's like you know, <laughs> if if it's like you know, hey, this this kid, yeah, like. One day, just stole the curse word. Like at some point of time, and the entire day, this kid is like a good kid, right? Is doing his thing and whatnot. And this one time, he got mad. He just like he yelled, "Mom, yeah, I'm bad," or something. And after that, you know, Christmas, no holiday, I mean, no gift, yeah. Gifts, we are getting woke after that. It's a scar in the kid for life, man. It's a scar in the kid for life. <laughs> so it, I think it depends on how much of a sociopath the parents are. But somewhere I feel because of these Hollywood movies, they have been painted an image saying that you know these Western kids are you know brought up in such a way that they are very oblivious to whatever is happening around them. There's, I mean, I mean, this is I don't know. I'm asking you guys. No, no, it's their own propaganda. It's it's the the they're spreading their propaganda around, and I I believe it. I choose to believe it. I don't know. <laughs> Like as an Indian kid growing up, it's very hard for me to believe that there's one guy who stays in the woods. I mean, the northern snowy region, and he comes with flying reindeers all around the world, giving gifts to the chimneys. I mean, I I think I think we are we are trained to think logically, you know, like like most of the time we are meant to like think logically, but then there I feel like they they. Prefer creativity more. I don't know. Maybe. No, it's not. It's. I'll tell you why. I'll. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's because. See, the Santa concept is not exactly our concept, right? It's like, see, when you're a kid, you believe that like, uh, um, monkey humanoid kind of a deity ate the moon. I mean, ate the sun. I think it was a mango, right? So for us, that when we when we're thinking about that, we don't think, oh, that's strange or that's weird. Yeah, that's uh, you know, that's what Hanuman did. You know, that's the whole point. But but like, but it's, it's it's like it's like if you say the story to like someone who's from the West, yeah, you tell them, hey, listen, one of our gods is like this, you know, anthrop anthropomorphized uh, monkey. Monkey, right? And, And they they'll be like, oh, what 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 sort of uh, people are you? You guys are worshiping monkeys and all. <laughs> like they don't think it in that sense, you know. It's, it, for us, oh, it's, it's, it's very normal. It's very like another god of ours has an elephant head. Yeah, it's pretty normal. Oh, what is your god? Oh, your god is like a your your god is just like a dude with a beard. 
that's how <laughs> that's how your goals look. Yeah, it's it, it all depends on you know perspective. You know, actually, guys, yeah, let's let's so, get, let's get to New Year. Let's get to New Year, Christmas, bye bye, New Year, hello. <laughs> yeah, so. We're we're gonna ignore Christmas. We're gonna ignore Christmas movies. It was such a nice topic. Oh man! Let's do Christmas movies. Let's do Christmas movies. Yeah, Christmas movies. What's the first movie that comes to your head when you say Christmas movie? Home Alone. I'm up here, you morons! Come and get me! Oh wait, wait! Talking about Home Alone. Wait, this talking about Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone, like even other Christmas and other all these English movies, right? They are the ones that had like gave me this thing that I really wanted that I have now, which is this room. Right? Oh. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen, have you seen like in all that like Home Alone and what's not there? Yeah, like the because everyone because it's obviously cold there and like you know it's the whole culture that they wear robes and they're like you know. Chilling and whatnot, and I used to think that's so cool, man. That is so cool. Like they're like wearing the robes. I know. Hot, hot, hot. I was like, so and then the snow <laughs> fight, man. <laughs> that snowball fight, throwing the snowball, and like the snow angels and whatnot. You know. Yeah. Oh my God, that's such a nice thing. <laughs> you know, till this day, I have not seen snow. That is like, I don't know how I would react if I see snow. I would just you know, definitely blow my mind. I I get you, man. You know when I have. Asked- Like in the future, when I have snow in my hand, the sense of achievement and the feeling that I get, <laughs> I, I I don't know. It just feels like it's gonna be like really great touching snow. Because I've always you know, you know what I'm scared of. Like when I imagine snow, have you you what? guys have freezers right at home? Like those those weird ass freezers, yeah, which yeah, which yeah. which freezes up yeah. inside. So yeah. I, I'm worried. I'm worried that snow is that you know <laughs> like what if that is snow? I, 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 I think that, that is snow. Yeah. I think you know I think that is snow. <laughs> that is snow. That is not it's a nice bad. thing to be throwing at people, you know. <laughs> But it's not confined. It's not confined. But I think it'll be much more looser. It, like it'll be like sand or something like. So man, I think it's exactly going to be like that. Um, it's it's going to be like that. Or how is? I don't know. I was thinking more powdery <laughs> and watery at the same time. <laughs> I'm watery. I mean, it's, it's like water, snow. right? So it's snow is like a big ball of snowflakes, right? It's like a big. Don't ask me, man. I've never seen snow in my life. I live in two. I live in two hot places. I live in the two most hot places. You went place. from a hot place to a hotter place, right? You live much everywhere. It's gonna be hot. Shout out. Akash admired those robes so much that he's wearing Christmas robes in Dubai. And <laughs> <laughs> hot guys. And the thing is hot. Yeah, exactly. It's very exactly. warm. It's very warm. You literally told us to go during Christmas. <laughs> he like, he, I'm pretty sure he put he puts his AC on blast. I just crank up the AC. I just crank up the AC to high so I get to wear this. That's what I do. What's I the What's the coldest it. temperature you've experienced, like in this thing? Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like right. now <laughs> in life, mm, I think I've gone to Azerbaijan. That was very. That was quite cold, actually. How cold? Like single digits. No, it's not single digits. Yes. Like easily, but it, but it was easily like around you know. Reaching single digits like ten, ten on one side, ten below, ten below. I think I think the coldest was I think ours is the same. Me and Pops, if I'm not wrong, the Kodai night it went I think to eight. seven, if I'm not wrong, seven eight or something. Yeah, seven cold. seven eight degrees. Okay, that's and that cold we found unbearable. Like. It was so cold. We wore like two layers of clothes, and still it was cold. So no, now imagine minus fourteen and <laughs> minus ten being a daily thing, you know, <laughs> for I people. I don't see how that's possible, bro. You know? <laughs> and and they're alive, bro. They're like they're like chilling over there, like walking around in the cold, 
not having to worry about anything and stuff like that they just ah. walking around in that fucking minus i don't know how much it is but that much just covered head to toe with like you know god knows how many layers just... i swear but that's so cool though winter clothes yeah. are much more better than summer clothes i like that just even like a fashion sense you know that oh, trench coat yeah. always gets me like it's so nice hmm dude i so that's one thing i've realized you know like uh, that trench coat thing has come to india now okay and if you if you if you are friends with anyone from the north yeah these guys like now when their winter starts if they're from delhi or like that place yeah now you're going to see like all these like delhi dudes just like walking around in their trench coats in the middle of the fucking like you know bazaar <laughs> and what not Bro, and Delhi, Delhi like, actually it's, gets it's quite so cold. Yeah, mm. it does. It does. But but seeing someone wear a trench coat in the middle of Chinese without summer, snow, yeah. yeah, it just it just right. feels snow. You know, it's snow without snow. But like just seeing a trench coat be worn in the middle of Chandni Chowk, where everyone else is wearing a sweater <laughs> and a muffler. You know, they got the muffler on. They got the monkey cap on, and this motherfucker is walking around with the scarf and this like trench coat. You know, like like he's walking in London or some shit. It's, I don't know. Why, it just feels really funny to me, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why. But but in all yeah. honesty, if if I was in his position, I would do the same as well. So <laughs> I can't hear him. I can't hear him. Trench coat. I'm I'm wearing I'm wearing a robe. No, very good. In, I, I can't judge anyone. In the hottest place, probably the desert country. So yes. I can't judge anyone. <laughs> yeah, if you get to wear, you get to wear it. Oh my god! <laughs> so now we're wrapping up the podcast. So yeah. like, see, yeah. bye bye. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> my laptop crashed. Let's end it at that. Peace. I hope your laptop didn't crash. So subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> Forgot the lad. <laughs> okay, okay. New year, new year, new year. Just looking back at the year that went. I thought she was just born to work. Cold work. What? So after she has been consistently pushing for the past ten years. What? What were your resolutions, guys?